Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Renee. If you're new, today's video is going to be a sit down video, which I haven't done in such a freaking long time. I miss sit down videos. Can we make those a thing again on YouTube? Because I love them. They're so much fun. I feel like they're so much more intimate and I feel like we can just sit down and chat. So grab a coffee, grab a like little beverage, if you will, and we're going to have a little personal Q&A, a little life update if you will. Today's video is actually going to be sponsored by Skillshare. So if you guys are not familiar with Skillshare, it's an online community. They have thousands of different creative classes for whatever skill or lesson that you want to learn. If you're like me and you love learning and constantly growing, Skillshare is perfect for you. You can take notes on the classes. Like I said, if you're learning a particular skill for your trade or for your job or whatever, if you want to learn a new hobby, they have a whole bunch of different stuff. They have everything from different like software programs. They have art stuff when you sign up there's actually a little like section where you can pick what exactly you're interested in i personally want to learn a little bit more about sustainability that's something that i honestly was like so unaware of a couple months ago and i've been slightly learning and kind of opening my eyes to they also have a section where you can do like beginners in intermediate and then advanced classes so if you are more of an advanced learner or if you already know a certain skill set but you want to like master it you can put advanced classes to invest in yourself and create personal growth like i said I want to learn a little bit more about sustainability and I am very much a beginner with that so I was watching actually getting ready for this video um living basics for sustainability practices taught by Katherine Kellogg who's the founder of goingzerowaste.com she also has a book that's like 101 ways to go zero waste she was really really informative she actually was talking about how like when you recycle you can recycle things incorrectly and affect everyone else recycling correctly which is like something I never was aware of I thought you just through things that were recyclable like plastic and cardboard and all that stuff into a recycle bin but apparently if it's not cleaned all the way you can contaminate other people's recycled materials who have done it properly and then just like totally mess up the whole entire system which is so selfish if you think about it like people do it though they don't exactly know that they're doing it um, but i learned a lot like you have to really clean through your recycled materials in order to make sure that they're being able to be recycled in the first place which is something that i was totally unaware of so the one that she taught was broken down into 12 lessons including things like new habits that you can have for yourself the power of like one person making simple swaps they're actually giving my first thousand people to click on the link in my description box a free skillshare trial so hop on it it's only the first thousand people huge shout out to skillshare for sponsoring today's video i'm gonna go ahead and dive into the personal q a i'd asked you guys on my instagram um to just do a little like life update questionnaire so you guys asked some questions i wrote down the most common ones and we're gonna dive into it first question is my thoughts on returning to new york city in the future i really am kind of playing with the idea of possibly going back to new york city i don't know exactly if that's gonna happen it was like in my gut and for some reason i just wanted to move back and if you guys remember when I first moved back from New York, I wanted to originally do half New York, half Florida, but then life just happened and it kind of paved the way to just be more so in Florida. But now I'm kind of dabbling with the idea of possibly maybe going back and doing that, getting an apartment in New York and then possibly getting a home here in Florida. I don't know, we'll see. I go back and forth every day, but I feel like it's definitely something that has been on my mind. Are you happy? with your friend group in Tampa. I am. That's actually something I also have learned is to kind of like network with people. If you want to make friends and you want to have a friend group, it's so important to just put yourself out there, communicate with people, be that person to initiate the first engagement with somebody and get to know them and act engaged. And it's so interesting the kind of people that you meet when you put yourself out there because you meet people that are aligned with your certain lifestyle or a certain job and they can like, it's like networking, but you can still bond and have fun with friends and they know friends friends who they'll introduce you to and it's like a spider web of things and I think it's so important to just know a lot of people in your community because it's so crazy how sometimes a specific person can affect your life whether that's like I said through a job through common interests or whatever um, I've met a ton of different people that have benefited me from socializing and having fun to like networking and career moves spirituality all that stuff it's just something that I've been really focusing on since I moved back to Florida and I am very happy. You just gotta do it. You gotta put yourself out there. Are you and him official yet? Yes, we are. <laughs> is Chase your boyfriend? Now, a lot of people are so confused because I have these like two men in my vlogs lately. <laughs> so uh, Chase is gay for the last time. He is living with me temporarily. He just moved back. He's actually looking for a place right now. He's not gonna be with me forever. He is not my boyfriend. We have nothing going on. And then the other man who cooks for me and does the fun things around the house who doesn't show his face yeah he's a completely different person than chase and we are 
together so do you have any five year to ten year plans or goals like i said somebody just asked me that and i felt like i had it in mind but then life happens again and you never know what life is going to throw at you i think something i've learned drastically throughout these past few years especially the 2020 situation is you can't plan for life like literally god will throw anything in your face and laugh at you like you think you have an idea of where you want to be i think it's important to like go the direction you wanna go, but never hold on to that or have expectations around it because life happens, you know? Roommate life, be honest. I love having someone here when I'm not working. I like to have my space separately when I am working or sometimes in the mornings, I like to be like a little like solo, wake up and just have myself my like little routine. But I do love having a roommate for now, but it's not something that I would want forever. <laughs> I like having my space, I'm a very, I'm like, when I take the Myers-Briggs test, I'm like an introvert extrovert. Like it's always like 49%, 51%, and it always wavers between the I and the E. I can be super extroverted when I wanna be, but I also have an introverted side. And when I'm in that introverted side, like I'm in an introverted side. So it's been great. I love having him here. It's so nice to be able to like watch shows together. Like I can't watch TV, but when Chase is here, like we just, we can watch shows, we go out together and we like, I don't know, like I love having him here and I know the minute he leaves I'm gonna cry like a little baby. But I also like never want to have a roommate forever. <laughs> Where are Chase's kids? So Chase has two kids, Bonnie and Beau, um, and they're half and half with his ex-wife. And when he has the kids, he goes to his grandmother's home. So that's why you never really see them here. But when he's here, he doesn't have the kids. Am I attending a church? That was another thing that I wanted to try out when I moved here. If you guys remember when I first moved here, I really wanted to like join a church. This year has been a very independent relationship with my spirituality and God, more so than I was in 2020. I think 2020 was such an isolating year that I just wanted a community. And I think the more I learn about community around religion, I kind of get a little detached from it. I feel like that's why in when my religion and my spirituality my relationship with god gets a little like off i'm listening to my heart and i feel like being having a more personal relationship with it is more ideal for me in this situation we have been tampering with the idea of possibly joining a church or like going to specific churches just to try them out and that's something that i was supposed to do last week and ended up not going i've been watching a little bit more of elevation lately and then i also want to possibly go this weekend we'll see there's a church specifically that i want to try here in tampa that i've heard of really great things Things about i just haven't had the time to go favorite and least favorite selling sunset <laughs> character or person um i don't really i like i think selling sunset is such a beautiful show like the shots the people the fashion like everything is such a beautiful bright vibrant shot and i am gravitated towards shows like that which is why i always throw it on in the background i don't really watch it too much i haven't finished it but i really feel like chriselle is like low-key kind of a bitch <laughs> i don't know why i get this really weird vibe from her so she's probably my least favorite but i love when she's on i think her fashion and her style like when she's on i'm like oh i love it because i just look at her style but as the character in the show i feel like she's very like underlyingly mean and i don't know why it's just a vibe i really don't like christine i think she is so annoying i think she's over the top she's just not my kind of person <laughs> Um, I know all this is like scripted too. I feel like it's telling Sunset is very scripted. So this is just like, I know probably deep down they're like great people, but um, just from what I've seen from the show. And then my favorite person would be Heather. I think she just has such a light hearted energy about her and she genuinely sounds like a fun, good person. I love how she's like such a boss. She married somebody who is probably, if not the same as her or higher in terms of like money and all this stuff. And she still grinds and hustles and has her own little side thing. And she's like vegan, so she has a good heart. And I don't know, I just feel like she's just like such a sweetheart. I really like her. Apartment, city life forever or settling down in a home. I think right now my life is just more geared towards apartment style living because I love walkable cities. I like the vibrancy of cities. The one thing I don't really like about cities is that it's a little cold and gray, but here in Tampa, you get the sun, the water, and the city, so it's perfect. And it's not too big of a city, and you can easily escape the city and go to like a more suburban, like open space, which is really nice. But I really like being here. It's like younger crowd, they have better food in the city. Maybe eventually one day I would get a home. I don't know. I feel like I really like the city life, which is weird because if you asked me that a year ago, I'd want to buy a home with like land and in the suburbs. Um, is your new man shy or him not showing his face by choice? I didn't ever want to put anyone on my channel that I was dating right away because 
we, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't wanna like put people out there and then something goes wrong, you know? Like, so we kind of made the conscious decision to like not put him anywhere or like tag him anywhere because I don't want people like coming for him or judging or like putting a label on us before we even were able to put a label on ourselves. So it was by choice for the both of us. You guys will definitely get to know him a little bit more. He's not shy at all, but he and I just wanted to like slowly integrate him into my channel. Not so much like, boom, here he is. And then something happens and then I have to explain. And like, I just don't want drama surrounding it. And I don't want my channel to ever become like my relationship. Like I think it's something to be integrated in for sure but i don't want it to be like i don't want to feel like i'm using him in any way does that make sense yeah you guys will see more of him rather than just his <sighs> head down someone had called him like a headless hunk the other day <laughs> what am i currently reading i've been like in and out of books i keep reading like little bits and portions of books and then i put it down because i don't like it i cannot for the life of me get into a book i feel like right now i'm like more gravitated towards self-help books and like business books and i'll read through those more so than fiction books. I just cannot get into a fiction book, which is interesting because you guys know me and my reading. I just haven't read this year. This is the year of non-reading, but I promise you guys I'll get into it by the end of the year. And hopefully next year I'll have like actual time to read. I've just been very busy socially, work-wise. I just have a lot going on right now. What does Chase think of him? I asked him this when I was going through the questions and he goes, love him, love their journey. And then the fact that he said that they hang out outside of me, which is which it's true and really cute. He's great. You guys are going to love him. Thank you guys so much for asking these questions. I hope you guys got a little like insight into what's really going on. I haven't really opened up too much recently. And it's something that I really want to get back into. I feel like we have such a like bond here online. And I've been a little like veiled lately. I think just because I've been a little chaotic with my life and I'm just like kind of exploring myself and exploring my new life here. And, um, but yeah, we're going to get back on this because I miss you guys and I miss being open and like vulnerable and raw and honest with you guys, because I feel like that's when we like connect the most. And I feel like I connect with you guys on that level. So Thank you guys so much for asking these questions. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys soon.